Number 1. Police Officer in Trouble After Stealing Money from Homicide Victim In 2019, there was a surprising news story involving a police officer from the Atlanta Police Department. Officer Keisha Richburg was let go today. And then officer Keisha Richburg made headlines when she was fired due to allegations of mishandling $500 in cash from a wallet belonging to a homicide victim. The whole incident was captured on body cam footage released by the Atlanta Police Department. It occurred on June 19th at the scene of a shooting near the Inman Rail Yard on Marietta Road. The footage reveals how the events unfolded. An EMT named Kevin Getter was the first to come across the victim's wallet, which happened to contain $500 in cash. Getter can be seen on the video tucking the money back into the wallet and then passing it over to Officer Richburg. About a minute later in the footage, we witness Officer Richburg go back to her squad car with the wallet still in her hand. However, as the footage rolls, we can see that the cash that was previously tucked inside the wallet is nowhere to be seen. According to the police department's incident report, Officer Richburg transferred the victim's wallet from her right hand to her left hand, and it became apparent that the money was no longer inside. Later in the video, the officer hands over the now empty wallet to a homicide unit sergeant at Grady Memorial Hospital. After an investigation by the Office of Professional Standards, it was determined Richburg violated the rules of recovered property, appropriate action required, and truthfulness in the case. As a result of her actions, Officer Richburg was fired by Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields in July 2019. Chief Shields expressed her disappointment, stating, Officer's integrity goes to the heart of what we do here every single day. It's extremely disappointing to see the victim of a fatal shooting be victimized twice by the actions of one of our officers. During the investigation, the EMT, Kevin Getter, revealed that the money was actually handed over to him by a bystander who told him that it belonged to the victim. I shouldn't have been messing with it because it was a crime scene, but it was just habit from not leaving patients money and stuff. So I just picked it up and then realized what I did, so I handed it off to the officer, Getter said. The woman who handed Getter the wallet also made a post on Facebook to share her concerns about the victim's family never receiving the lost item. This alerted the police department to the fact that the money was probably mishandled and a probe was launched immediately. However, the Atlanta Police Union expressed doubts about Officer Richburg's guilt in the matter. Vincent Champion, regional director for the International Brotherhood of Police Officers stated, they haven't proven that she had the money or took the money, Champion said. We don't feel the officer did that. Currently, Officer Richburg is in the midst of appealing the decision made by her department, hoping for a reversal of her termination. If you thought this case was crazy, wait till you hear our next story where a cop pickpockets and pepper sprays an innocent construction worker for trying to defuse a stop and frisk. Number two, cop robs innocent man for intervening a stop and frisk. In September 2014, something happened in Coney Island that left people shocked. It all started when a man named Lamar Joy tried to do the right thing by stepping in during a stop and frisk situation. Unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse when a cop decided to manhandle Joy and then proceeded to steal from him. Now, the video of the incident didn't capture everything that led up to it. According to reports, a group of cops was getting rough with a man named Terrell Haskins before Lamar and his sister Latifa Joy showed up. It turns out the cops had confronted Haskins claiming he matched the description of a suspect who wore a hoodie and had recently left a nearby building. Haskins, however, denied wearing a hoodie and said he hadn't been at the location. Despite his objections, things escalated and the cops ended up pepper spraying him. Seeing the officer's brutal treatment, the siblings couldn't help but voice their concern, shouting, is that necessary? Joy then decided to intervene, advising Haskins to cooperate with the officers, telling him to give them his arms. Meanwhile, one of Joy's friends started recording the incident on his cell phone. The video, although doesn't show Haskins, captured a brief but troubling moment when Officer William Montemarano pushed Lamar Joy against the fence of a basketball court in the Surfside Gardens housing project. Then, shockingly, the officer pulled out a thick wad of cash from Joy's pocket. As soon as Joy saw the cop pulling away with his cash in hand, he called him out, but the officer then promptly pepper sprayed him. The crowd of people gathering also saw the money in the officer's hand and began to protest, saying that it was robbery. He said, he said, stole his money. He said, stole his money. Seeing the barbaric way her brother was treated, Latifa Joy stepped up to the officer and began to argue with him. But just seconds after she was met with the same treatment as her brother, 
I went to get his badge number and name, Latifah Joy told the news. Get his badge number, get his badge number. Get his badge number. I leaned over to see his badge. He pushed me away. I saw a two and a one, and that's when he pepper sprayed me in my mouth and my whole face. Just a day after the incident, Lamar Joy wasted no time in seeking legal help. He reached out to lawyer Robert Marinelli, who took up the case in 2015, representing not only the Joy siblings, but also Terrell Haskins in a lawsuit against the city. Joy claimed that the officer had actually stolen $1,300 from his pocket. Marinelli, in his pursuit of justice, presented compelling evidence to support their case. According to the lawyer, Joy had withdrawn the cash from a bank a week prior to the incident. It happened to be his 35th birthday, and he had plans to take his wife out for a special night on the town. Marinelli handed over the video of the incident to the Brooklyn District Attorney's Chief Civil Rights Prosecutor. But he didn't stop there. He also provided pay stubs, visual proof of Joy cashing his paycheck at a check cashing store, and bank records showing the withdrawal. The NYPD had issued a statement in defense of Officer Montemarano saying that all the man had was $62, which had been vouchered. No one stole $1,300, Deputy Commissioner Stephen Davis said. From this statement, it seems as if the department believed it was acceptable to take money from individuals during stop and frisks, as long as it was a small amount and properly documented at the station. What they still failed to address, though, was the officer's use of pepper spray to silence both Joy and his sister, who had been demanding the return of the money taken by Montemarano. Terrell Haskins, the third plaintiff in the case, alleged that he was falsely arrested for disorderly conduct and $72 was seized from his pocket. Fortunately, the charge against Haskins was eventually dismissed. After a period of legal proceedings, the parties involved reached a settlement in 2017. Although the exact terms and amount remain undisclosed, it was deemed satisfactory and the court dismissed the case with prejudice, bringing an end to this troubling chapter. If you want to watch more of these videos and keep up with the latest updates on these cases, please subscribe to the channel.